good to know you there with us the program is flip side so we just gave you the name for the day and of course and a fun fact that i'm sure you didn't know about before i said before that i have two guests in the house who will be talking on fitness and longevity with me today so you're gonna meet them right about now for those who do not know me i'm daisy by segment and very close to me here is Ama. Ama Ozigbi. Ozigbi. Yes. So it's good to have you on the show, Ama. Which one is your first name? My first name is Ozigbi. Okay, so Ama is what I'm going to call you. All right. And then I have someone you've seen on television before because he does uh, Morning Fitness Return on TV. I have Destiny A. Yator. It's good to have yeah. you here. Thank you so very much. It seems to be looking different yes. now with the beard. This is supposed to be a beard since I don't understand. <laughs> if, you, if you just give me some money, let me shave it. I'll do that. <laughs> okay, okay, so it's good to have the both of you here. They're both fitness instructors. They're, um, Destiny works in the gym. So when you talk about all sorts of equipment and gym and all that, you, he's the guy to turn to. And Ama works without equipment. Basically, he, he, he does the outdoor workouts and it's free. Good thing. Destiny will charge you, but it's good. <laughs> yeah, you know, when you learn how much you're worth, you stop giving discounts. That's really? my philosophy. You're but okay. yeah, I have always had this um, free stuff. Uh, okay. At least I, I've been in the fitness industry now for like uh, 13 whole years. So. There were years in my life that I had to really do it for free for people. Okay. Who couldn't afford it. But this time around, I just noticed that, okay, come on on. And it doesn't I've got cost to, you. Yeah. Mm. If it doesn't cost you, you really will not place emphasis on its importance. Oh. So that's how I feel about it. Okay, that's cool. All right, but I'm going to be starting with you, Destiny, by the way. Um, when we talk about fitness, what exactly are we talking about? Oh, yeah. Really, uh, as an instructor and as a fitness coach, I really take it from one angle, which I know is most holistic. You know, fitness has been defined by most dictionary or most school of thought as the state of being, you know, physically fit and healthy, or physically, um, uh, yeah, fit and healthy. In most dictionaries, you have that word fit there, yeah. okay? But in my research, as an individual, I found out that some persons, because of the fact that they are slim, or because of the fact that they are muscular, just feel that yeah, they are fit. And fitness is beyond that. Actually, some people could actually be slim and be obese. Yeah, okay. we'll talk about that if you really want to talk <laughs> into that. And some people could be very big and yet they are fit. So let's take it from my own. I, 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 I carved out some five parameters for measuring fitness. And these parameters you know, range from cardiorespiratory endurance exercises, that you do for the cardio, if you are fit cardiovascularly, is one aspect of fitness. And then we have the flexibility. And then we have the aspect of the uh, uh, muscular composition or body composition. That simply tells you how much of the fat you have in your body and how much of uh, the lean muscles and the bone you have in your, in your body. And then we'll talk about the, uh, um, excuse me, uh, we we'll talk about the, the, the flexibility. Have I talked about that? Yeah. The flexibility, the, 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 the power. Power there actually mean um, like how much, yeah, muscular power. Okay. How much weight you can pull and how much you can push. I mean, how much pressure can your muscle take per time without getting tired? And then we have the, the speed, okay, or agility, put it that way, agility. So these are the parameters that have been put together over the years by me into know, measure fitness because someone can actually say they are fit and when you check them out in the area of uh, endurance, they fail. How long can you actually sprint without gassing out? I mean, and how much things can you pull without your muscles, you know, you know, getting, you know, tired? These are the parameters I put together. Then you can say holistically that I am fit. For example, when you see someone who it, you don't necessarily have to be big, like, you know, uh, as a bodybuilder mm. or really thin like an athlete. You could just be there on your feet because, and again, don't ostracize the, uh, the, the aspect of the meta alertness. Mm. Okay, I will just fix that in now because it's also part of fitness. Okay. 
So I wouldn't know how I've answered correctly. I know, you're okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, so I'm going to turn to you, Ima. A lot of people um, do say that for long life, I've heard, I've read, and I've seen posts, if you want to live long, you have to be healthy, you have to be fit. But I don't know how true that is because I, I think I've seen some people who never really worked out all their lives and they lived to a hundred years. Cool. So I don't know, does, does fitness really aid longevity? Well, fitness aids um, longevity in different aspects. Um, number one, uh, let me break it down to our normal um, home basics. Um, what you eat is 70% of who you are. 30% comes from the gym. Okay. So it's what you eat that's bring that uh, bring that who you are. And uh, most times, because people in this um, Nigeria don't um, have good balanced diet, what we eat more is more of starch, starchy food. Imagine eating rice in the morning. You come back, eat our normal Santana. Mm. In the evening, we still go back to the same rice we're also <laughs> eating. All so carbohydrates. Mm. Everything is based on carbohydrates. Okay. But in the advanced country, we find out that when they want to eat, they'll eat little food in the morning. In the afternoon, they'll go for vegetables. In the evening, they'll go for fruits. And when you look at them, in those places, they live longer. Sometimes they live above 90 years. But in Nigeria right now, when someone is 60, you say the person has left, has lived well so much. 60 years, you say, a life well spent. No, it's not well spent. But if you look at it, it's the food we eat that matters. So like I said, 70% comes from what we eat. 70% comes from what we eat. Then the 30% comes from the gym. So that's not what, but, but what are some of the habits that one could have that would shorten their lifespan? Because youths, the rate at which youths are dying these days is quite alarming. And I'm not talking of court clashes. Yes, that is claiming a lot of people too. But people just, you hear that this person is fine today. The next day he has a slight headache and the next thing you hear it is gone. This year, 2018 alone, I know how many people I lost that were pretty, pretty young. It was a very sad year so far. But what are some of the habits we have evolved? Maybe we knowingly or unknowingly have gathered those habits that could be threats to our longevity. Well, thank you for the question. The truth is, um, people don't just die; they did they died. In quote, you know, you you start dying. A particular day and then <laughs> your death actually ended a particular day so there's these you know you know a car does not just stop the moment you apply the brake there's called the, there's something called that the, the, the brake distance or the braking distance you know you could correct me in that you know you like uh ozzy as we popularly call him has rightly put it the diet you subject your appetites to is very very sine qua non to your real i mean identity as a human being I mean your health generally you know um, people die of most times the the arteries of the heart that you know, supply blood to the entire body being clogged up as a result of eating the wrong kinds of food and maybe oils I wouldn't like to mention brand here or something you know there's um, there's something we call the high density lipoprotein called the HDL and we have something called the low density lipoprotein. I just want to beat around you know, some and then land in a particular aspect of it. But generally then, you eat the wrong kind of oil. Do you know that our local oil here, I'm talking about the palm, palm oil. oil. Okay. My research, I wouldn't know, has been proven to be one of the best oils in the world. But yet we go out there seeking for what we didn't really make you know because of it's uh, the fact that because of the fact that it is exotic why not just consume what you have here honestly uh, take a very good look at the past before our generation you know times of our fathers and you know grandfathers or great grandfathers forefathers too. you know these men lived well because they they, they fed themselves with food from nature directly 
when you eat your food alive, you will stay alive. When you eat them dead, you kill yourself from inside. Mm. So I really don't want to go right outrightly to the area of fitness first. It has to start from within. I once told someone, you can actually enhance your skin without rubbing an external chemical in your skin by what you eat from inside. You know, some fruits have specific uh, vitamins, you know, some, in fact, water first. Let's even, water is the most affordable thing we can all get, but then we underrate it. One thing I've known about an average Nigerian, okay, which I'm not excluded, <laughs> is that once something is cheap or easily accessed, we lose its value. We, we, we do not really count it as if it matters. But then when I was talking to a client at the gym today, some uh, students doing IT at my gym center, I told them, I said, once it's easily accessed, once you are easily, I mean, you, you are available at all times, you tend to lose your value. Same thing applies to most of this food we have around us. You know, for example, take a, a, a very good look at, uh, at the almond fruit. Almond, the one we call it's generally, available. Call, yeah, available, the fruit. <laughs> yeah, when I was young, I would call it fruit. <laughs> available is very, very rich in various kinds of, you know, uh, nutrients which I'm not willing to measure right now because of, you know, time, you know. But we go out there, we ask for almond oil, we ask for almond nuts. And in our environment, we have, for example, in Uniben, the major uh, uh, components of the fruit we have there are almonds. <laughs> but we pass them every time going there to buy apple because it's exotic. We go there, we go to buy pineapple or other things that were imported to us, not knowing that that available way would they avoid now it's a big deal. You understand? So, the seed, that even coconut. Coconut, you know, every type of nut you have around you are good for your health. But since you, you, you feel that you can't afford those or you can't access them, water is around you for crying out loud. Water is around you. What I do is what I preach. As early as possible, the moment you wake up, maybe you say your prayers, the first thing I do, which I recommend you do, is... For those of you that drink sachet water, take, I do two. One is okay for you, then go to the toilet and move your bowels. I mean, that alone is a way of cleansing your system. Okay, personally, about three days ago, I just discovered that my system was not, you know, they would call it fever, mm. you know, but I knew that I had to do some detoxification. Detox. Exactly. What did I do? Uh, you can actually alkalize your water by doing some certain things. Just make sure your water is clean and then lemon slit it into two or there about four put it inside your water uh, cucumber you know do same thing put it in your water give it some 45 minutes time and then drink the water chew whatever is left inside of it these are health but then we want to you know all those good looking things yeah. okay i wouldn't know generally expensive cranes. You want yeah. to okay i want to add um, like you said you said what are some habits mm. um, that can lead to so many stuff. Number one is um, smoking. Mm. Mm. Most Nigerian youth these days are smoking and it affects their lungs. They don't know that. The another thing again is excess drinking of alcohol can damage our body system and can lead to a lot of Liver yes, liver issue, kidney problem, and some other things. I really love the, the, the adjective you used there, I mean, the, the, the adverb, excess drinking. Mm. Alcohol in itself is not bad altogether. Okay? Yeah, you yeah. know, if, if we're going to begin to talk about the, the word excessive, it's yes, relative. Exactly. So I, I could say a full bottle of red wine is just fine. <laughs> <laughs> and okay. someone is going to tell you all you need is just a glass. And someone is going to come tell you that all you need is half a glass. So excessive, it's, it's, it's different to different people. Okay. Maybe we should just avoid it totally. Okay. Yes. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so many things can cause us things. Like I said, um, smoking, smoking drinking. drinking, not exercising. Mm -hmm. You're just there in the office, not moving your leg. We just want to sleep and somebody asks you, what's the problem with you? So most times, that. Too much of everything we do sometimes is a problem. Um, you know, too much of carbohydrate can make you become obese. Mm. You know that? Yeah. Okay. So we should know that uh, what we take into our system can affect us. Okay. Positive or negative. Okay. 
So smoking, number one thing that I don't like, is so wrong and it can kill us. Like, you know, this uh, tobacco say that smokers are liable to die, die young. Yeah. And when you smoke, you are dying. Need be I add this quickly, just before you ask the next question. You know, some people, according to uh, the Holy Book, you know, they seek sweating as a curse. Do you know sweating is actually healthy for every human being? For example, you stay under the AC 24 hours in your office, <laughs> down to the car, to the kitchen, to the house. Your pores are clogged. I mean, you've got to heat up the system, let the pores be open, and then, you know, the, we, we have uh, uh, many uh, various waste, uh, uh, what do you call it now? The, the organs that, the that, that, okay. yeah, yeah, they, that remove waste from the body, the anus that remove the, the feces, the, you know, the uh, penis or whatever that, that removes the urine. And then the skin also, it's a very good uh, uh, waste, dis is it dispenser <laughs> or something? <laughs> yeah, so it's good you sweat. Okay. So go out there, take some exercises. It doesn't have to be strenuous. Yeah. And take a walk. I mean, exactly. Just a stroll. Just a so stroll. Don't just ride in your car every time, from cab to cab, from Kekena to Kekena There are sometimes your junction is quite close to your house is close to the junction. Take a walk. It doesn't make you poor. All right. I just think government has made life easy for all the lazy people now. You now <laughs> have to trek, whether it's sunny or not, because from the park. For those who are not driving there from the park, even when you're driving, there are places you can park to buy things. So you have to come down from your car and still work into the market. Now, talking about um, fitness and staying healthy, some people have tried to use supplements or um, one form of product or another that they sell online. In fact, if you go on social media today and maybe I post a picture of myself, like, oh, I'm grateful to God, hashtag, thankful heart and people are commenting it's beautiful uh, uh, nice pics thank god for your life all that and beautiful. then the comments are getting to about 50 comments the next thing you're going to see is buy you my hair then some <laughs> other comments <laughs> and the next thing you're going to see is buy slim tea lose weight yeah. in seven days and all sorts of things so they're selling products everywhere <laughs> how effective are all these products i don't know if any of you have ever used any but have you met people who have used, if you've not used, do they really work? Okay. Um, the products are effective, like I said. This part of country, hmm, we can't continue doing those things every time. Sometimes there's a break. And if you didn't get those products again, you go back to your normal size. size and and, uh, okay. And uh, the vitamin P's are really good for those who are doing fitness. After exercise, take some vitamin pills. It's okay. it rebreeds your system back again. Now those slimy teas and the rest, like for me, I take green tea every morning. Okay. Green tea is good for my body because it helps in cleansing my internal organ. So uh, most uh, people feel that taking those drugs and the rest, hmm? mm. yeah, when you take it, no problem. But the essence of it is the issue. You get my point? Like, uh, I don't start calling names of those drugs. Oh, yeah, yeah. No need for, no need for calling yeah. drugs. But when you do that, combine it with exercise too. You find out that your rate of metabolism mm. in reducing will increase. You get me? So, uh, someone came to meet me and said, uh, I have a product to sell uh, to burn body fat. I saw the product. First of all, what I looked at was the content of the product, what it has. I like wow, it's good. The same product, the same thing that it is in it is in also in green tea. I bought the stuff and I was taking it and I was also exercising. So there's nothing wrong in you buying those supplements. supplements. No, okay. you need them. We Sometimes. need them. We need the green tea. Okay. Yeah, we need the green tea. We need the vitamin pills. Okay. Emphasis on uh, green tea and yes. vitamin pills. Okay. <laughs> okay. What well, first of all you asked yourself, what are supplements? Uh, the word supplement there actually, you know, mean that, you know, you, you, you are taking some things to support what you have or what you have lost in order for it to be balanced, you understand? Now, before the supplements are produced or advertised to you, it means that they have extracted those vital ingredients, you know, in some certain uh, 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 things and put them together in their, uh, in their 
is it concrete now and your concentrated forms you know give them to you to buy but then it's I feel that they are good most of them are good especially those that uh, don't contain steroids I don't use steroids all through my life as an instructor as uh, an athlete and um, martial artist for example I do not use a steroid or all those most of those things I believe in something if you do not know the right thing people will always bring their suggestions to you and you buy into everything you know you have natural food supplement. I advise that a lot. In fact, today before I just came down and sat here, I, a client was asking me what and what not to eat. I do diet plan, I'm a dietitian. You know, you have most of your uh, uh, um, supplement in beans. You have a lot in fruits. You have lots more in water. You have a lot, I mean, these are the uh, things from whence these uh, supplements are Extracted. sucked out or extracted and given to you just that they make money and also you may gain something but then if you understand the, the workability of your own body system and how you can take the right things you do not you have problem so you wouldn't need I, I you should understand your system okay so I wouldn't know how much that answers the question okay all right now um, you both are fitness instructors and good or friends. coach <laughs> and good friends yes yeah. now you just said something that you you do martial arts i know Ama does um karate, karate. i've seen him train his legs and yeah. you know, all <laughs> i do kickboxing kickboxing okay exactly. now you don't say you push not with me here <laughs> okay. you like challenging me you like challenging me <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe I'll come watch the both of you fight someday. No, 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 we don't fight. We call it spa. It's oh, not spa. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I'll come watch the <laughs> both of you. We don't even do it. We don't use spa. Exactly. <laughs> okay, now, what are some fitness essentials one should have? Maybe I won't start working out now since I know working out is also very important for my longevity. So yeah. I want to get some things. What and what should I get? What should I have? So I'm directing it to the both of you. Okay. Anybody can start. Okay. Uh, first. You must have a good walking shoe, a trainer's. Okay. Mm. Your trainer's shoe should be 1.3 mm. Okay. Yeah. So Such that, that it has so absorbent. Yes. I mean, a grip on the floor. High. Yeah. High. Yeah. Okay. Because if it's low, shock absorber. Mm, okay. You start having knee problem. Oh. Mm. You oh. find out that uh, where is that shoe again? Uh, you're talking about uh, uh, they use an NYC. Oh, uh, they did the flip flop. <laughs> the, uh, the, the, the yellow one. The, no, not the yellow one. Actually, the English name for that shoe is called slippers. Okay, it's slippers. flat. You know, okay. those they would call it Chinese shoes. Okay, so okay, okay. the Chinese shoe. Okay. Chinese okay. shoes. Okay. Is that those okay. flat. Normally, it's not really good for jogging. Oh, okay. Yeah. The white one. Yes, when you use it for jogging, you have any problem. But go for a good trainers that have at least 1.3 meters deep down. I think the, the regular name people call that NYC white canvas is tennis. Tennis canvas. Tennis. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Many names yeah. being given to these uh, brands. Okay. You go for a good jacket. Jacket. Yes. Or a jersey. Okay. You go for a track. They're just normal complete track suit. Something like what Something he's like this. Yeah. Okay. 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 This is what I'm talking about. This is um, a 1.3 mm. Okay. Good for walking out. Okay. Then um, there are some. You go for a good. Um, body shirt, not your normal t-shirt. No. Uh, 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 yeah. the, the shirt aspect of it, you know, it depends on what you want to derive from or the kind of fitness you want to get. Okay. Okay. Now, if you want to lose weight for some persons who are obese, okay, who wants to lose weight, we have a lot of them in my gym. Okay. I recommend that you use uh, some kind of, uh, is it sweater now or sweatshirt? Sweat that jacket. can induce sweat from you. You understand why you work you know it hits out the sweat from you exactly okay. Yeah. Okay. and uh, the product is usually um, polyester polyester and having some net under net so that it can suck your uh, i mean absorb your sweat and then uh, it, it, if you wanted to use any other um, so you can use something like curtain that can also absorb your sweat but then it, it has to you know be very the free can also the, breathe. yeah exactly okay. the, the most important thing you should consider is um, how first even in fashion industry the first thing is uh, 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 comfortability, comfort. Yeah, how comfortable are you? For example, I advise that don't, don't don't sag in my gym. Don't do that because it could cause accident. Mm -hmm. You know, something free, elastic, uh, flexible that could uh, you know, give you <coughs> movement. Excuse me, okay. give you good movement. You know, no angles you want to move your body. Okay. You know, also that would not maybe distract the next person. <laughs> you know. Mm -hmm. okay. All right. 
just that. But for what do I need a water bottle if I carry sachet water? It's not a bad thing. No? Uh, you need water. Okay. You need water. You need a but bottle. A bottle of water. Yeah. Oh. So you can store water. your water. And because you are losing that electrolyte. And you, well, Such a water, for example, yes. why you wouldn't need that is immediately you suck from it. How are you, you going to hold it? I mean, would you just <laughs> hold that such a water? I'm you want to cup your water. Thank yeah, exactly. You. So you lock it up. You need then. water. So. Oh, all right. Okay, now, um, one more question before we go on a break quickly. For a lot of people who are working, the hustle is real. A lot of people are hustling. We need to make money. There's money. Wait till we gain if we don't make money. So, biggest <laughs> motivation. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, so, people are working really hard and they're in your offices all day. Maybe because of their sedentary life, just being there facing the computer, they're gaining weight. Or some others are, they're just there, they feel, you talked about um, flexibility, they, they're becoming exactly, stiff in their yeah, joints and yeah. all that. So, they know they're not fit anymore, even though they've not added so much weight. Yeah. So, what do you do? How do you start? Well, I'm at work all day. I am not at work all day, but I'm just saying. Yeah. If, if you're at work all day, you do the 8 o'clock to 5 p.m. kind of job, when do you work out? What do you do? How do you save yourself? Okay. You want to take okay. it? Yes, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let me take you that. Know, okay. That's one area I really love because uh, over the years, I've had to prove a solution. I discovered that, you know, the average Nigerian is always busy. You know, some persons actually mistake or misconstrue the... Uh, the differences between uh, working out, exercising, and uh, stressing. Okay. 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 I, I, I want me to. I sweep, so I do domestic activities. So it's an exercise. Yeah, it it's might exercise. be. It, it might be an exercise, but there is a deliberate exercise. You focus on it. That's most general. And most times you do them wrong. Why do you need an instructor? You know, there are some joint you cannot just move anyhow. For example, I would have loved to demonstrate something right now. How do you pick an object from the floor without you know, straining your lower back? Okay. You know, it advised, you know, you bend your knee. Okay, you, you go know, down like yeah, a queen. Yeah, go down, exactly. You you squat. Okay. No, especially if it's squat. heavy. Now imagine okay. you are locking your knees to pick something heavy from the ground. I mean, you're placing all the effort on your, your lower back and your vertebra is in trouble. With time, you start complete lower back, lower back, lower back injury. So you can avoid all that. You know, for those who work in the office, I once attended to a banker in Lagos State. You know, I told her, she said, I'm always here, I'm always here, so I do not have time to work out. I told her, what you have to do when you wake up in the morning, avoid cold water. Mm -hmm. In fact, warm water is what I actually recommend. Warm in, okay, room temperature, let me okay. put it that way. It's, in fact, it's medicinal. Yeah, quote me anywhere, it's medicinal. Because first, your digestive tract is cleansed, your Bowling. You know what warm water does to a, a bottle filled with oil, mm. you know, it's yeah, good. And after that, you get to the, I was once here for an interview, uh, you know, and someone asked me what kind of workout. You can work out anywhere, anytime, any day. For example, the way you're sitting right here now, I'll just give you a workout that will touch you. I mean, you'll feel it. So no excuses at all. You can actually do toe tapping. This, yeah, exactly. Okay. That we work on your calf Uncle. muscles okay. and also the this area okay. you know by sitting down you you can just do you know, stretch always stretch those that have insomnia problem those that can't sleep you know i can't sleep all you have to do before you go to bed stretch have, i mean have a warm bath if it's a cold you know weather have a warm bath you know stretch you know uh, put off the lights in your room make it dark a little and I just close the eyes. Okay. <laughs> so generally, you can keep fit anywhere you are, okay. as long as there's activity going on. The way I am now, I'm still exercising. Okay, but then if you do have a personal trainer who can, you know, make their time flexible into yours, beautiful, okay. beautiful. Or hit the gym and talk to them; they they can fix time for you. All right. Okay, for those who just joined us, you missed a whole lot. The program is flip side, but you're in luck because there'll be a repeat broadcast of this edition by 4 a.m. on Go TV channel 107. And then by tomorrow, you can start watching the full episode on YouTube. So you just go type flip side ITV on YouTube and you see some of our videos. And this video definitely will be one of those, the full program. So you're in luck. So I have a ma and I have Destiny in the house. We're talking about fitness and longevity so we went on break now we're back now talking about fitness too 
some people before they get fit or even do their feet there's this trend of body shaming that usually makes people even work out it's not because they really want to work out but on social media it's getting worse you could have a baby and then you put on a few cages because you have baby fat and all that normal you shed it after some time if you try people are all over your business talking about how bad you now look you could even be slim and finally you've lost the weight and they go after you they go after you with a vengeance like <laughs> how dare you lose the weight? you know they come for you you're now so flat you're like a stick you're this you're that and maybe you're very you were obese and so you lost let's say about 200 pounds so because maybe you did a particular diet to lose weight, you now have loose skin. Because then it was so go, drastic. Maybe because it was so drastic. They talk about your stretch marks, they talk about how jiggly mm -hmm. your skin is. So there's just a lot of things, condemnation about body shame. What can you talk, say, about okay. this? Body okay. shaming is a mockering of someone's body. Mm. And that big, small, fat is a mockery. It should not be acceptable because um, most people will not tolerate it. Instead, why don't we just encourage the person? Uh, you are big today, you can do it. I know you can lose 5 kg. Mm. The person will have that good happiness in him, yes, motivation. Okay, I will do it. But in this country, mostly Nigeria, ah, you had just 1 kg. Oh, Z, what is this? <laughs> you are fat. You are this. You are eating too much. But sometimes, they don't know that. Stress can also add weight to your body, okay. but it's not good. Mocking someone's body, instead encourage the person. Ah, come on now. Have you stopped gymming? Go to gym. And then uh, 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 again, I want you to be confident for those of you listening who have body shame on one point or on one point or the other. You know, you must understand the fact that in human generally we have three body types within which you fall. Yeah. Exactly. And the most no, we have the mesomorph, we have the ectomorph, and we have the endomorph. And these are not a function of you. They're just natural phenomena. You know, some people just grow up slain. Like no matter how much they eat, they're just there. And then you're comparing yourself to them because you're big. Some are just big. Those kind of people who are just slain, they are called the, uh, uh, the endomorphs. You know, no matter how they eat, they're just there. And you, you just... An, uh, ectomorph a little and it's wow mm -hmm. so you have to know your lifestyle and then the uh, mesomorph are those who s similarly look fit without doing anything like oh wow she looks good he looks good he looks muscular does it work out i don't work out i've never touched a dumbbell before like seriously but that's good. another thing is in women there are uh, about three body types okay and uh, three body shape of uh, for women we have the hourglass shape we have the uh, the uh, inverted triangle. We have the triangle shape. We have the I mean we have five of it. Then we have the pyramid. We have the the, 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 the what is it called again? The apple shape. And we also have the pet shape. So whichever one you fall into, that's your that's your uniqueness. So learn to appreciate yourself. My first statement here when I came here was, when you learn how much you are worth, you stop giving discount. You stop listening to people. They don't define you. They just try. When you accept it, that becomes your definition. All you have to do is, if you consider it a problem, hit the gym and correct it. And then you can't never be like the next man. I can't be like, hey, he's probably uh, uh, an ectomorph and a mesomorph. He shouldn't try to be like me. I shouldn't try to be like him. Be yourself. Just be yourself, <laughs> work yourself to your best. The only competition, like I tell my client at the gym, that you have is the man in the mirror. That's why there are mirrors in the gym. Monitor your own progress. And you keep on doing the same thing every time. For those of you that have been body shamed and you're nodding and you're, you're complaining, it's only a fool, according to my moron, that does the same thing every time and expect a different result. Or a fool that runs faster on the wrong lane. So for those that have been body shamed, you can really do something about it. Take that as a challenge. Sometimes, you find motivation. Other time, motivation finds you. Take for example, someone says, I don't want to run. No, I don't like running, I don't like running. Like, I'll, I'll make you run. I'll put my cage for a bulldog to come outside. You discover the strength in you. <laughs> you understand, right? So sometimes you find motivation. Okay. Other times, motivation, motivation finds, finds you. you. So let that body shaming thing that people have done to you 
be the motivation that finds you. Go there, make them know that yes, I can be different a person. But then be you, don't try to be them. Okay. Okay, um, you said something that I enjoyed. Motivate yourself, you get my point. The major issue right now is that um, some persons are just being weak. You are fat, ah God, for just one year. The person cannot do anything anymore. But the person, when you say you are fat, you're like, okay, I know what to do. I'll watch my food diet. I will hit the gym. Like I said, I'll watch my what? Food mm. diet. Now, it's um, body shaming. It should be kicked out. We should not appreciate it in this part of the world because most people cannot tolerate it. Like in America, you tell someone you are fat, the person can commit suicide. Yeah, mm -hmm. it, 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 yeah. it's considered an insulting and some, some word. Yes, go, go exactly. To surgery Are you serious? Also, you start crying. It, it, it better use the euphemistic word, oh, you're big, rather than you're fat. Oh, it's the, 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 the same word thing. Fat. It's the same thing. It's yeah. the same your thing. big is more euphemistic. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. That, it's that's the same what, thing. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not encouraging, it gets, it gets I'm not encouraging that, that though. Yeah. Do you know someone from my gym, a friend of mine, actually committed this? Uh, uh, um, crime and we call it a crime right now oh. okay yeah <laughs> it told the girl who just came to uh sign up with the gym like you're big you're this you're that and they just body shamed her she left the gym after having subscribed no matter how much she paid and then she went on just sucking like oh like and she couldn't come back oh. and the friend came back and reported and i felt bad and then how do we bring them back you have to encourage them i followed up the client until an extent that she came down to the gym. She felt self-love, even though she was big. Mm. And then she came on her own, and then now she has a program. And she's significantly cool. improved. Okay, so I have two more questions before this show will officially end. Now we've talked about um, food and diet. You've said a lot about diets. And you started the show by saying that even to be fit, 70% of it comes from what you take into your body, the food. Then the 30% is for the workout. So let me face the food now. Diet and mm -hmm. as there are several diets and several names for them. I know about the military diets, the three-day diet that people do. I know about the keto diet. In fact, that's almost like the most famous right now. So a lot of people subscribe, you pay people, they teach you what kind of food to eat. You use almonds to make swallow, coconuts to make swallow, cabbage to make swallow, eggplant to make swallow, and all sorts of things. We have the other skills of um, dieting, intermittent fasting. We have the low carb, high fat diet, low carb, high protein diets, and zero carb diets, egg diet, and all sorts of things. So which one exactly is the best one for us to follow? Okay, um, in all, they are all good. Okay, okay they are all good. Um, you can choose anyone. But the problem I'm, I'm having is, can you continue with it? <laughs> you get my point. Okay. Can we continue with it? Mostly the keto. Hmm? Mm. Come on now. If you have the money to do keto, why can't you do the keto? Sometimes keto comes from the money box. Okay. It's yeah, you eat expensive. chicken, 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 protein, 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 protein. Then after some time, you don't have money for protein again. You go back to the carbs. You start adding weight. But what I'm trying to say is that it should be a life, a lifestyle thing. Either keto, 3D, military stuff. Choose anyone that is good for you. But be it maybe, it should be a lifetime stuff. Don't just stop because you gain what you want to gain. Mm. Unless you start adding the weight. No, it's like um, being in a, going to, to school. From, from there you enter SS3, from SS3 you went back to JSS1 again. No, that distance of going back again is a problem. So when you are there, put it up, no problem. Make it a lifestyle. Yeah, make it a Pan lifestyle. Name, yeah, a yeah, name thing. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. uh, I was having some um, discussion with my fit people, like, I did care to, it works out. Um, right now I'm adding weight again. I told the person, uh, Though the person who invented Keto, the woman tried. I give her a hand. It's a good one. But it works in mostly most people from the um, um, the advanced country. Okay, okay. okay. They have those things in, in, um, in place. But in Nigeria, whereby you have much of carbohydrate food, 
you hardly for you can see good protein beans beans, beans contain 40 percent of protein 60 yeah. percent of carbohydrates mm -hmm. so um, choose anyone that is good for you but make it a lifestyle for uh, you uh, let me let me sum it up in one word in, in one sentence like i always tell my my friends and clients out there you know uh keep i mean lose weight in the kitchen and keep fit in the gym 70 percent Diet. Is that clear? Thirty okay. percent. Now, whatever or whichever uh, type of dieting you choose, make it a lifestyle. Actually, this making the lifestyle idea is the fact that we have actually drifted from the right way of living because of the fact that you don't like salad for crying out loud. You, you because someone is eating it and they look big doing it. They're doing it. I mean, an apple a day. I don't want to prescribe diet right now. You have to <laughs> subscribe to my service for that. You know, you, you said we don't have a much uh, uh, um, uh, protein, protein in our country. Yeah. Well, you're right, you're not right. We have the uh, foul food. No, for example, we, don't we have, have eggs. Mm -hmm. You know, eggs are very rich in protein. You know, you can do egg white. The, egg, the white there, the albumin, contains the protein. So extract the, the yolk. The yolk is not altogether bad. You know, it contains I think, some. I even think the yolk had the most nutrients. That's for kids, right? Uh, it does. Okay. But if you're talking about the protein, you really want, for example, the, 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 the bodybuilders, exactly. Okay. The egg white contains most of the proteins. You know, the, the, the yolk is not altogether bad, you mm. know, depending on the ki and type of diet you want to do. And by the way, for you to choose a diet type, it depends on what you want for your body. Some people want to add a little more pound. You know, some people want to drop some. Some want to, you know, be bulky. There are two types of bodybuilding. The, the bulky muscles, the like that of doing Johnson, okay, mm -hmm. at the rock. And then we have the, the lean muscles. Take a good look at Bruce Lee, you know, making the muscles defined and all the symmetries and all the. So it depends on what type of body you want. You know, meet a professional dietitian, place it on that diet, and then follow up with exercise. Someone says, or people always say, I hit the gym and after I stop, usually I, I gain back all the fat I lost. What happened? It because you went back, the, 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 the holy book says the, 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 the dog has returned to eat vomit. Mm. So how would you not have the, the wrong impact you had? So make it a lifestyle like Ozzy has rightly said, so I support that. Okay. Make fitness a lifestyle. Alright, um, Ozzy's birthday is actually um, <laughs> next week. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to invite you guys to come and eat. You. <laughs> <laughs> this so people are not eating. <laughs> We'll go well, fast. Uh, what do you mean? Are you serious? Come on, we'll go eat. We'll celebrate the birthday. something. We'll go fast in this evening. Let me tell you, <laughs> eating too much, I mean, not eating enough is one cause of obesity. Okay. I skip breakfast. Do you know the most important meal of the yeah, day is breakfast? Mm. Someone said, no, I don't want to eat too much. I'm watching my weight. Come on now, my sister. You're not watching your weight. You're harming Killing yourself. Your sister. Because the, the, the breakfast is the most important meal of the day. In fact, one of the recent diets I have planned for people has been that the person has to eat most times, eat six times a day, sometimes five times a day. Like when I tell someone, you're gonna be eating more, like seriously? No, you binge eat. Eat the needed things for your body and then eat them in right proportion and always make sure you're not hungry because the hunger pangs you usually have as a result of skipping a meal, a meal. usually wants you or makes you to amass Over the eats. next exactly and then that makes you, you know, blow up. Lack of sleep or too much of it is another cause of obesity. That's true. You know, and then water also can help you break down your weight. Another cold, not cold water, warm water. Another one would be, I said something phenomenal is that when you build muscles, while you're sleeping, sometimes your muscles burn your fat for you. Mm. Yeah. More questions on that I will answer. Oh, there, there are several <laughs> questions to ask. Well, anyway, we're going to end this show today at this place. Uh, this place we're stopping now. We still had questions on stretching, warm up, and so many other fitness questions, and even weight loss questions, fitness for weight loss, and um, fitness for weight gain, and all that. But you know what we're gonna do? We'll have a part two of fitness edition. We'd we'll have it maybe in December or the first week of January when we're done eating all the Christmas and New Year <laughs> chopping. And so some people are desperate for a change. Yeah, so we're gonna bring these two guys back in the studio, and we're gonna talk some more and ask, ask questions that we've not asked on this edition. So it will be like a follow-up. You can just easily download the videos on YouTube and watch them at your leisure. So they'll be giving us maybe some meal preps and plans on what to eat and all of this. Subscribe. 
No, we're not subscribing. You can do it for free. <laughs> birthday promo. Uh -huh. All right, so his birthday is next week, and um, you're all invited, but should I give them the venue? Sports Complex. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah, you know, Sports, Sports Complex, Sports Complex exactly. is always there. Okay, so... He does his own fitness training in Uniband Sports Complex for free. And then um, Destiny does his training at the um, oh, main, main gate area too. Well, yeah, if you want the address, you ask me. Exactly. One of those fitness centers. I, yeah. I won't say the address right now. <laughs> and, but you pay a little something according to him. If you do not pay, it will cost you. But OZ is just doing it because some people do not have the means. So whichever you choose, it will work for you. And Daisy Obais, everyone, thank you so much for staying with us. Keep fit so you can stay healthy and live longer. I'm going to start working out now. You'll see the difference very soon. Bye. You should.